Hello everyone, and welcome to today's reading of Lost Treasures. Today's chapter, The Hidden Loot of Nazi Germany. During World War II, the armies of Nazi Germany invaded France, Austria, Holland, Belgium, Poland, Hungary, and Czechoslovakia, removing much of value from their art galleries, museums, banks, and in the homes of their rich families. Most of this treasure was transported back to Germany and stored in the State Bank of Germany in Berlin. At one point, it has been estimated that this building contained gold to a value of $7,500,000,000, a sum that excludes the paintings and jewelry also being kept there. During a major air raid on Berlin in the spring of 1944, the State Bank was badly damaged by British and American bombers. As a result, Adolf Hitler, Germany's leader, gave orders for the bulk of the gold and other valuables to be moved to safer places in southern Germany and northern Austria. Other important Germans, who had their own hordes of treasure, were afraid that Germany would soon be defeated, so they too decided to transfer huge quantities of stolen treasures down to secret hiding places in the south, away from the Allied armies. The mountains of northern Austria hold the clues to the final resting place of much of the Nazis' treasure. For instance, about 50 kilometers from Salzburg, near the town of Bad Aussie, treasure valued at $70 million has been found in a salt mine. But what has happened to the rest of the treasure moved from Berlin? Many people have died in mysterious circumstances looking for it. In 1946, two treasure hunters, Helmut Marr and Ludwig Pitchler, began searching in the mountains near Bad Aussie. They were found brutally murdered a few weeks after setting out. Near their bodies was a freshly dug hole and evidence that several chests or large boxes had been removed from it. What did they contain? A few years later, Franz Gottlich, who had served in the German army during the war, arrived in Bad Aussie and told everyone that he knew where some of the treasure was buried, because he had helped to conceal it. Shortly afterward, he disappeared. People began to say that the treasure was being guarded by descendants of the Nazis who wanted to use it to make the Nazis powerful again in Germany. Much of the gold and art treasures stolen by the Nazis has been recovered and returned to the proper owners. However, the total amount still missing is in the neighborhood of $2,750,000,000. Well now, isn't that quite the amount of money? Anyway, that's all for today. See you next time.